are going to solve a problem on effect of gyroscopic couple on naval ship during pitching. So for the theoretical part, please refer my previous video and the link is also given in the description box. Now first I will read what is the given problem. The mass of the turbine rotor of ship is 20 tons and the radius of gyration of 0.60 meter. Its speed is 2000 rp. The ship pitches 6 degree above and 6 degree below the horizontal position. The complete oscillation takes 30 seconds and the motion is simple harmony. Determine the following. First, maximum gyroscopic couple. Second, maximum angular acceleration of ship during pitching. And this was the given question. Now we will understand the given data with the help of diagram. So here the mass is given. So this is the mass of rotor which is 20 tons. So standard unit is kilogram. So we have to take 20 into 1000. So when for this ton we will uh, multiply here with 1000 1, then it will convert into kilogram so 20 into 1000 kilogram then the radius of gyration of the rotor so if we observe the diagram here is the rotor and which is getting rotated about this horizontal axis which is known as the axis of spin so here when it is rotating about the axis of spin with some radius that is the radius of gyration which is equal to 0 0.6 meter so we have to calculate first the mass moment of inertia of the rotor. So mass moment of inertia is equal to m into k square that is 20,000 multiplied by 0 0.6 square. So unit is kilogram meter square. So 7200 kilogram meter square is the value of r. Then for this rotor the rotational speed is given n is equal to 2000 rpm. So we have to calculate its angular velocity. So what is the angular velocity of rotor that is omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60. So when we put the value of n we will get 209.5 rad per second. So this is the value of omega. Now the angular displacement is given that is from the mean position what is the angular displacement above and below of the mean position. So we will show this angular displacement in this diagram. So when this axis of spin at its a horizontal location then this is known as the mean position and the axis of spin is getting rotated about this vertical axis that is known as transverse axis and this is known as the axis of precession. So when it is moving to the upward so this is the transverse axis and this is the mean position and here is the point of intersection. So about this we have to draw here one line. So when it is moving in upward direction then here is the angular displacement that is known as phi. So in the same way when the axis of spin is moving in the downward direction about this transverse axis then here also there is the angular displacement is known as the phi. So this value of phi above or below is given. So we have to take only the angular displacement above or we can take here angular displacement below the mean position. So here phi is equal to 6 degree. But this angular displacement we have to take in radians. So how to convert this degree into radians? That is we have to multiply with pi by 180. So here 6 into pi by 180 that is 0 0.105 red. Then the time period. So this time period for the one complete oscillation that is equal to 30 seconds. So from this we can calculate the angular velocity of simple harmonic motion. So we have to take the formula omega 1 is equal to 2 pi by tp. So tp is time period in seconds we have to take. So 2 pi by 30 that is 0 0.21 and what is the unit radians per second. Then how to calculate the maximum angular velocity of precession. So for that we have formula phi into omega 1. So phi we have to take in radians. Omega 1 we have to take in rad per second. So here if we multiply this we will get the answer 0 0.022 rad per second. Then we will calculate what is the gyroscopic couple. So gyroscopic couple when pitching is taking place. So during pitching the motion is the simple harmonic motion. So here formula I omega omega P max. 
so i that we have already calculated that is the moment of inertia of the rotor then omega angular velocity of the rotor and omega p max that is the uh, maximum angular velocity of the precession so when we multiply all these we will get the answer 33185 newton meter then the second question is that we have to find out the maximum angular acceleration alpha so how to calculate the angular acceleration so for that we have formula that is phi into omega 1 square so phi is the angular displacement that we have to take in radians and this omega 1 is the angular velocity of shm so we have to take its square that is 0.21 square so when we multiply this we will get here 0.0046 and what is the unit rad per second square so this is the answer